That's the talent. And Paul here, uh, board uh, Southern Cross. We are going to check. <laughs> Southern Cross. Uh, Southern, oh my God, <laughs> Southern Estate. We're going to check the fluids in the engines today because this is something we do between every run down in our engine compartment. Almost every run. Almost every run. About every other day, we we do a good fluid check on everything to make sure that we're not seeing any oil, uh, excess oil burning, any fuel burning, anything like that. So, first thing we'll do here is I believe we pulled our engine boards up here and the engines have cooled off from our, our daily run. And you can kind of see our engine room here. Now, I haven't done anything with this, this particular boat yet, so we haven't, this is pretty much the way we received the boat. Um, so we just haven't had time. Thanks, Stephen Mack from Vegas. You know, that's our hometown, right? We grew up there. Okay. Chief, are you going to go down in here? Yeah, I'm going down. Okay. Yeah, Chief's going to go down here and he's going to show you topless, but I won't. <laughs> he's thinking about going down topless. All right, so the first thing he's gonna do is go check each one of the gears. Let's do the gears first, Chief. And the gears on a boat, they call them the gears, but they're actually the transmissions on the boat. So it's sit right here, and it's on each side. I forgot to get the damn rag. We can grab the towel right there, Chief. So I'm gonna no, there's and lights down here, but I still, light here. I'm going to go in here so you guys can see. Okay. That's the stick he's looking for right there. So it looks totally full to me. And a couple things I'm looking at right here. I want to make sure that that fluid's nice and red like, like it is. Uh, no browning in it because I'll change that fluid in a California second. So and that's on these Bog Warner gears. We're running and he's going to double check it here. That looks really good. Good. Yeah, so our fluid on that transmission looks really good. So another thing we're doing when we're down here is we're just checking. We're looking at hose clamps. Right here, I do a visual inspection in the pan to make sure there's nothing leaking in the pans. And we see a little bit down there, but that's normal. And then I, you check this right here. This is, a, this is a guard that he actually put on there, which is great. And that keeps us from the seal, so we just check everything it's to make salt sure. Salt water. It, it just checking to make sure everything's tight, no issues. No leaking water, no leaking fluids. So we're looking at all of our hose clamps, all of our lines here, making sure like, you know, we just put new uh, coolers on here. We're just making sure all our lines look good. We don't see any, any leakage, anything that might. And I see a little something right there on the top of that hose right there. You see that? Yeah. So he'll so check I'll that. I'll take a look at that in a minute. But now I'm gonna check this transmission. Yeah. So he just pulls that gear. And same thing with this one. We're not looking for that bright red fluid. I can't tell. Let me look. I like that stick better on that side. Okay. Does that look good to you? It looks good to me. It looks like it's right to that line right there. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit higher than that, but then yeah, and it looks nice and red, right? Yep. It's perfect. Okay. So and we haven't touched these in since Paul changed the fluid in them. Now we did change the fluid in the gears before we left. So he's just, we're just inspecting everything right now. We're looking for anything out of the ordinary. Right here, that's the last time we changed the oil in the injector pumps. So we're getting close to having to do that again. You want to check, check right there. So now I'm going to check the oil. Let's check the oil on this engine right here. Which is really easy to do. And we're even going to check the builds today. It's real simple. Does that look a little low to you? No, it doesn't. All right, stick it one more time.
We don't have, we haven't gone that many miles, but we are running the engines a little bit more RPMs because we found out from um, American Diesel that we've, we've lost our fuel mileage somehow. Where are you at, Chief? I'm Yeah, it looks like we could add a little bit to that one. Just a hair, then. It's, right, it's still in the good range. But we might add a little else to that one. Okay, and then this one's a little trickier because you got to reach over the side of the motor here. Just, just a fill. It was a hundred times. When I, we first got the boat, I did this three times a day, every day, and then after a while, you just get to the point where you can more the motor. You kind of got to reach around and grab that stick. That looks good. Yeah, that's, that's full. That's yeah, full. full. Okay. Yeah, that's over the full part. So then you just kind of know where it is. each one of the sticks are. So again, like I said, th those are diapers back there that you see. We put those underneath uh, the pads of the engines. Oops, I can't, I can't find it. So I'll just stick my head in here. Okay. So just, I just follow that hose right down. Check the muffler, right muffler bearings. Yeah, right. Everything looks good in the engine compartment here. And this boat runs uh, twin Ford Lehman 120 naturally aspirated engines. And then we have a, uh, a 15 kW Onan generator right there. You can see it. So we pretty much do this, not, not uh, yeah, every day we do some type of an inspection down in the engine room. And uh, we try and do it the night before we leave because we're going to do like a 515 um we'll get up at 515 tomorrow and try and get out of here at about 615 in your 1969 grand banks it's nice so that's a wood boat so this is good so this all looks good and look at this right here this looks spot we had. what is that did you just drop oil right there chief uh -huh. on this on that line right there where yeah, I might have. Okay. And the top of your hand right there, too, you might want to. Oh, shit. Okay, so it looks like, if anything, we might be able to add a little oil to this one. See, that's the switch I was talking about there. So we have a GFI problem, too, on the boat, so we've got to figure that out. I'm going to check that with a multimeter, uh, find out what's going on with that. So right there, Chief, you should be able to grab that, open that oil compartment right there and grab some oil out of there. And there should be one that has, it's a little bit low on oil. Yeah. Is that not used oil though, right? No, you got a mark. Yeah. Okay. He's put the rest of this in there. So he'll put the rest of that oil in there. Yeah, those, you got to have a lot, that's a lot of respect you know to restore one of those old wooden boats i love them they're beautiful beautiful boats and you see them out here matter of fact what before i end this video dude you got to see this because this is this boat i'm going to take you down to it's like five boats down from us right now this guy hand built the boat it's literally uh uh it's a wooden hull uh, brand new it's never even been put in the water he built it in his yard and it, it's just absolutely a gorgeous little boat you want me to add a little more than that or is that good oh, i think that's fine now we put these away i save these right here because when i go to change the oil then i have a place to put uh yeah put put the oil back in there for recycling and we have pumps in this boat where we can uh, just pump the stuff out and once we get over uh, into lake michigan sometime we're gonna have to change the oil in the boats we've changed the oil in the gears we changed the oil in the injector pump right here. You guys have saw our videos where we've done that, where we've changed the oil in this injector pump right here. Uh, uh, you're supposed to do that every 50 to 100 hours. So, and then this one has been converted. That that fuel filter right there, uh, those could be the the little uh, that that's converted to a spinoff, or the other ones are the they're just miserable to change, but. Our engine room is actually pretty easy to get around in, too. It really is. Where's my flashlight? I'm taking spill filters real quick. All right. Let me get you. Oh, here it is. So now he's going to look at the ray course. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we called Brian. I called Brian that next day and found out that yes, we have to. So he's looking at the ray cores down there to make sure there's no oil. You saved our ass. And now this engine right here, dude, that engine right there was a little bit low on the oil in the injector pump. So I'm glad that you did yeah. that. Yeah, if he hadn't said anything, we wouldn't have caught that. We didn't know. Yeah, I can idle this boat down to, it seems like, yeah, about maybe five, 600 RPMs. Yeah, seems like. All right, everything looks good. Everything looks really good. So Pete's, the next thing he's going to do, he's going to put the engine uh, boards back in here. I'm going to walk you guys down to this boat because it is so beautiful. I want you guys to see it. And then we're going to stick the diesel tanks to make sure yeah. that we're and good I'm, on diesel. And I'm going to check the bilge real quick. Oh, and he wants to check the bilge. But that's no big deal. Yes, sir. Okay, so yes you're correct. The, the diesel oil will mix with the injector oil, and you've got to change that every, you know, 40. He said you'll know, you'll know your engines and, and when to do it uh, by that. This engine right here, everything looked good in it. The oil looked good. This one right here, it, it uh, was low on injector fluid, so I may have. Did you open up the bilge, Chief? Uh, yeah. And open it at the bilge and just look underneath there and make sure you don't see any. That looks crystal clear. Yeah, we want to see that bilge being crystal clear. We don't want to see any fuel in there, no oil or anything like that. So he sees that. All right. While well, he's getting ready to uh, put the engine hatches back on and get ready to uh, dip the um, diesel tanks, I'm going to take you guys over and show you this boat because it is absolutely gorgeous. It is worthy of showing off. We just had a little rainstorm come in. Max, Max. Max. Max come here. Hey, Max. You guys want to see a guest appearance by Max? Max is, come here. I know, Max. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to show you this boat because he hand built this boat. It took him 3,500 hours and it looks just amazing. Just a beautiful boat. Just an absolutely gorgeous boat. Look at this boat right here, all hand built. It's got a Cummins, brand new Cummins engine in it. That's a wood, plywood hull. Now he glassed over it. I talked to him a little bit today. Just an absolutely gorgeous boat. He hand built that entire boat, if you guys can believe that. And believe it or not, that's not a horrible loop boat. You could absolutely do the loop. You'd be tight in there, but you could do the loop in that boat and have a lot of fun with it. So I wanted to show you that boat while Pete's getting, uh, while we're sticking our diesel tanks. Uh, another thing that we did uh, about a week ago or a couple days ago is they opened all the valves say it again that i didn't see your what are you doing max i didn't see your comment there it was hand built from what now so the, those of you that haven't seen southern estate Sorry. Yeah, it is Southern State. I always get it mixed up. Yeah, it was awesome. Absolutely gorgeous boat. He built that boat too. Completely plywood hull, fiberglass over the hull. So for you guys that haven't seen uh, Southern Estate, this is, this is a side profile of her. Uh, we've got about 1,500 miles uh, on her keel now. And she's actually doing really awesome. What are you doing, Max? This is the neighbor's uh, cat. If you can believe it, the cat will actually let you pet it. Okay, so I'm gonna go, but Max is fine. <laughs> He's starring in YouTube. <laughs> he knew, you knew he was a star. Ugh. All right, Chief, do you got the diesel? I'm to it ready right now. I haven't quite got to it yet. 
So I'll bring him the stick. And why this is important to us is so we know what our fuel burn is, how much trouble we're in. I've got the stick right here. All right, you can come in the side door. So I closed everything up. Now I'm checking the tank. I can already tell it's still close to the bowl. I can hear it. So this isn't as easy to uh, check as Loop Princess was. Loop Princess, uh, I could do it right from the fuel tank fill. We have to get in there with a crescent wrench and open up this little. I had the little crescent wrench sitting right in. Yeah, that's right. So one thing unique, not unique, but one thing nice about this boat, uh, the owner put new fuel tanks in here about 13 years ago, so we don't have um, the old original fuel tanks yeah. on it. I think it was about 10 years ago, but you got a paper towel here. Yeah, right, there. right there. Okay, so we're gonna dip this tank and this usually uh, turns Paul's day or frown upside down or it's gonna make it go worse. So if we go, if we lose connection, you know what happened. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right, I think we're looking good. We're at three quarter, over three quarters of a tank, looks like. No, we're looking three quarters of a tank. Exactly three quarters, quarters of, of a tank. tank. So in three quarters of a tank, we've gone uh, about 150 miles. Is that right? Have, have we been gone three days? Yeah. So 150, more. 150 miles and we've burned. Was it right at three quarters or? I can dip it again, but yeah, it's right at three quarters, maybe a hair over. Your right's right there. So with that means we've burned, if we hold 500 gallons and we're at three quarters of a tank, I don't even know what that is. It's about 125 gallons we've burned, right? Yeah. So we don't quite get, we're just trying to get our, our fuel burn here is. Our, I talked to uh, Amy today and he said we're going to be at two, gal two, two miles and we're just not, and we're not getting that. We're getting less than that. We're getting about, we're only getting about, we're getting less than a, a mile and a half per gallon. So we've got, we've got to figure out what our, we've got to figure out these RPMs and get them correct. And he said he ran it between 16 and 1700 RPM. No, we're getting worse gas mileage. Uh, and we've got to figure it out quickly. I don't want to go broke feeding this thing. So what's a quarter of 70, uh, 500 gallons? That's what we hold. Well, Loop Princess held 300 gallons. This one holds 500 gallons. So let me do the math real quick so I know. So that's pretty much our daily inspection. Our, our daily routine that we do. And we do that about every day. So yeah, that's why I said 125 gallons. Now I just got to figure out the mileage of how far we've gone. And then I can do it say, say how many miles to the gallon we're getting. But Loop Princess, I was getting almost three miles a gallon. This thing just doesn't do it. I'd love to get two miles a gallon out of this pig. Pig puka, we mean Pete call it pig puka. It's a big boat, man. You go from 20,000 pound boat to a 40,000 pound boat. It's a different class. Yeah, it's a different class of boat. And nothing looks unordinary on the boat, so that's what's, that's what's perplexing us. And our tacks aren't working exactly perfect, so we gotta, I ordered a, a, a gun tack. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, the, what we do for the day. 60.2.5 miles is to get miles a gallon. Yeah. Say it again. No. Two miles per gallon. No, we'd have had to gone 225 miles, and I know we haven't gone 225 miles. All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the morning as we take off and depart. And uh, tomorrow we're going to do the crossing over uh, Lake. It's called the Thumb, I think. Yeah, we, the Thumb. We're going to go over past the Thumb tomorrow. 
Uh, we're going to go uh, past the thumb tomorrow. Yes, we were. That's the problem. At a low RPM, we were getting we we're getting horrendous fuel mileage. So we've we've got to figure that we've got to figure out we've got to get that sweet spot and figure out what. what and I got to try and get that two miles a gallon. We had the boat repropped just before it went in the water. And that could be an issue. Uh, it could be. And the guy said that it wasn't right before, and then he fixed it. And I don't feel any miss running in the water or anything like that. So, <laughs> a little gas. gas. <laughs> Oops, Jim. <laughs> Chief. I always got a little extra in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll get it figured out. We'll yeah. Know, whether it's an adjustment or whether. I hope it's not a prop adjustment because if it is, then we got to dive down, pull the props, and then have them re. Well, I don't think it is because it seems like it's been running too good. But... Yeah. Anyway, guys, peace out. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. That's what we're really trying to do now is. Uh, get more uh, people watching the videos uh, and we need, and we need to start sharing the videos. All right. Thanks for watching Pete and Paul. We'll and see if you. If you watch this long enough, I'll do my Christmas strip tease, which isn't pretty. <laughs>